Running tumbling. Let's look at running tumbling difficulty. The following examples are of what can score you in the low and high end of each range for running tumbling difficulty. Scoring in the four to five range, low end are cartwheels and or round offs. High end are combination skills into cartwheels or round offs. Scoring in the five to six range, low end are round off back handsprings. High end are combination skills into round off back handsprings. Scoring in the six to seven range, low end are round off and or round off back handspring back tucks and or punch fronts. High end are combination skills into round off back handspring back tucks. Scoring in the seven to eight range, low end are round offs and or round off back handspring layouts. High end are combination skills into a layout. Scoring in the eight to nine range, low end are round off and or round off back handspring full twists. High end are combination skills into a single full twist. Scoring in the nine to 10 range, low end are round off and or round off back handspring double full twists. High end are combination skills into a double full twist. This year, if you execute a majority of level appropriate passes and also a majority of synchronized running tumbling passes, then you can score in the higher end of your level appropriate running tumbling category. This would be an example of a team that would score in the higher end of the eight to nine range because they executed majority fulls together, even though they were not combination passes. A majority of combination passes will still score you in the highest part of the running tumbling difficulty range. We will now take a look at the quantity grid and how it pertains to tumbling. The quantity score for tumbling is based on the number of tumbling passes executed within your routine. Quantity for tumbling is cumulative throughout your routine and is based on the number of passes executed and not who executes them. There is a range for how many athletes and how many tumbling passes need to be executed to receive a certain score. We allow for a variance within the range for the amount of tumbling passes that are executed. So if a team of 15 executes six level appropriate tumbling passes, and another team of 15 executes seven level appropriate tumbling passes, they will both receive a score of an eight for their tumbling quantity. Jumps, tosses, motions, and dance. Jumps. The following are examples of what can score you in each range for difficulty in jumps. Please note that a basic jump would be any of the following. Tuck jump, spread eagle, right or left side hurdler. An advanced jump would be any of the following. Toe touch, pike, right or left front hurdler. Let's look at some examples of what will score you in the mid to high range for the nine to 10 jump difficulty category. Please note that any level can score in the nine to 10 category for jump difficulty. This would be an example of a nine four to nine five range for jump difficulty. This would be an example of a nine seven to nine eight range for jump difficulty. This would be an example of a nine eight to 10 for jump difficulty. A connected jump is defined as any jump sequence that has constant movement within the approach of the jump. Some examples of this are a whip approach, a clap punch approach, or a clap turn approach. The average length between each actual jump should be no more than four counts for it to be considered connected. A combination of jumps is defined by an actual sequence of jumps. This might be multiple eight counts of jumps with motions, tumbling, or other choreography incorporated within the sequence. Tosses. The most tosses executed in a single sequence will count towards the toss quantity score. To max out your toss score, you need to execute the most difficult basket by majority within your level and at least one other toss somewhere in the routine. This other toss does not necessarily have to be level appropriate. Let's look at some examples of teams that should score within the high range for their level for basket toss difficulty. This level five example would score within the mid range for basket difficulty since the majority of baskets executed were hitch kick doubles. Motions and dance. Motions will be judged on the technique throughout your entire routine. This could be in your motion section or in any other motions during your routine. Dance difficulty is judged on what a majority of your team executes per the difficulty boxes. 
Let's look at an example of a 9 to 10 dance for difficulty. There are two overall categories that will be judged by each category judge. One is the overall category impression, and the second is on the overall look of your whole routine. These scores will be based out of five points each. All-Star, recreational teams, and school teams all follow the same guidelines and criteria when scoring their routines. Please take the time to look over all the grids, score sheets, and rules on our website, www.thejamscore.com. Thank you and good luck with your season.